aware of my surroundings and I have grown up a lot just by being a mother. I think that I have been changed from the fact of being a mother. But now I have been a mother in 14 years, so it's a little difficult to think back. Det er, man blir sårbar når man har noe man er glad i. Det er jo det, og det verste som kan skje er jo å miste de, eller at noe skjer med de. Min liv har vært helt annerledes. Jeg var ikke den samme personen. Jeg ser ting som andre kvinner med min alder så ting. Det har vært mye i min liv. Jeg har vært veldig glad for meg med Felipe. Jeg har vært mer responsabel av meg selv. Og noe magisk har vært når du har mulighet til å være mødre. Den nasjonale samfunnet treter dem som er unnabelig. 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 They treat them as they are nobody. They treat them as if they have no place in the society. I think I was born as a woman when I gave birth to my children. Becoming a mom is very much connected to becoming a woman in my life. I think I've never enjoyed me being as a woman in my 30s that much as I do now. You don't have to be a mother to be a real woman. I mean, God has made you to be a woman. And the qualities of a woman, I mean, you cannot buy it in the market. It has been deposited in you. Even if you have 20 children and you don't have those qualities, you are nowhere. And again comes the stereotypes of teen mothers as being bad mothers because we're young, they say we don't know what we're doing, we don't understand what's going on, yet they never give us a chance to not to prove ourselves, but to be able to do better. La mejor manera de ayudar a las madres y guiarles a sanar su propio corazón, porque desde el corazón es que brota la leche que nutre el alma del niño. No somos madres desde la maternidad de nuestros senos, de la incondicional entrega de nuestro corazón. En mi valedictorio speech, I said I'm going to beat the statistics. I am. They said I wasn't going to go to college. They said that I wasn't even going to graduate. I graduated. I'm in college. I'm at one of the best universities, actually, one of the top universities. That's not common among teen mothers. I see my future very bright. And I see myself in the next two years having a child I could call my own, regardless of what people have said or what the medical terms have said or what the society have said. I still have that belief that in another two years I'll have a child of my own. There's basically like no such thing as actually naming a, a good mom because there, there's different types of mothers. Some of them just don't have time to be there with their child because of their work, but they always manage to be there at the end of the day.